Okay, this is Maria Began. I have had some teachers now ask me how to use Smart Exchange. Um, the first thing I did was I opened up my Smart Notebook um, software and then I clicked over here on my tabs to find out the one that would be useful for me. These show your pages. This one has any attachments. This one um, is where you get your activities and such. This one is going to change your page layout and this also does some activity builders. So if we go here and we go to Smart Exchange, Smart Exchange is a website that they allow and it will open up right here for you. Um, the one thing that I have done that you will have to do is you will have to create your own account so that you can get them um, you can join for free, it doesn't cost anything, but since I have an account, I just sign in. They don't really send you emails unless you request it. Um, but it is something that they require that you do. And if you click Kipney signed in, then you sign, stay signed in for the whole time that you go to use it. Because um, when I opened it, it was already open to me. Okay, so if you were searching for something, you simply use it just like you use your other um, search engines, your Google or your Bing or whatever is your favorite. But in here, I am going to be searching for prefix and suffix activities. And then you just hit search. I'm going to make it bigger so that it's easier to see. Um, I've got some of these already, but as you can see, it says the more filters that it has to offer. You can say the subject. Well, the subject that I'm working at on is English language arts. That's kind of a given with my topic. Um, but the grades, you can limit your grades. Currently, I'm in second grade, so I'm going to click second grade. Um, I guess there's other languages that you could do. I find no need for that at this point. And then if you hit go. It will do the search with those limits. Okay, so a lot of them come up the same. It also says best match, newest first, most downloads, most recommended. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is the best match according to what I typed in. Newest first doesn't mean it's necessarily the best. It just means it's the most recently down or most recently put on or shared. Most downloads mean it's been pretty popular. Most recommended is the same thing. It's just not been downloaded, but it's been recommended. Down here depends on what type of activity you're looking for. Smart Notebook Lessons is the Smart Notebook software. These have math tools. There's gallery correct collections as well. I think those have a fee to them. Um, well, okay, I'm not sure what this. I guess it doesn't have a fee to them. Um, I have to look into it. So I'm going to click on Smart Notebook Lessons because that's what I have. I have already done this one, but if you want to preview it before you see it, you simply click up there and it does a real quick view. This page means that there's probably an activity on there. Um, the white pages are usually that they have an activity built in. Um, it shows that it has something, um, the magic pen, where it, those will delete or erase after a little while. Um, okay, I have not done this one. So, now, of course, they put two, three, and four, um, but then at the same time, it says third grade here. So, maybe there's some advanced students in there. I'm going to hit click to preview, kind of check to see what I like. Um, looks like it might be applicable for what I'm teaching. Um, what I do like is that some of these have these. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to download it because it looks intriguing. And what I do first instead of saving it because I can lose them all is I hit open. Because sometimes things that I save, I forget to open or I've saved it and then I discovered it's not really applicable for my students. So I've stopped doing that and now I open it first. It takes a minute so. Okay, so now that it is opened up, which generally takes a little bit, I can get a better view of what I'm seeing. You can do that by scrolling along with these, with the uh, pages over here, or use your arrows. I kind of do both. Um, um, some of them have little tabs that you can pull. 
and that tells you multi means more than one. Um, that's what these little tabs are. Word parts are called syllables, so I guess if you're explaining it to the kids, that's how that's helpful for them. Uh, this one has an activity built in, and again, you can read it. Le suffix. You break after the consonant before the I. The E does not make a sound. It's just there. So that goes with explaining these. Um, if I hit reset, I'm not sure what this guy does. He's supposed to do something, but I'm not sure what. Oh. So they're talking about the examples. Uh, subtle. Um, giggle. Puzzle. Quietly. And so these are over here too. LY says Lee is in gladly, sadly, and safely. I like the little tabs. Go back over here. It tells you. It doesn't give you any examples of words though, which would be helpful in some of them. So this is kind of what I do is I'll open them up and kind of see if I like them, if I don't like them, um, if there's one or two pages that I like, and if there is one page or two pages that I like out of this, see the other video that I've posted to see how to just borrow and copy those pages. Um, this one gives you some examples and it's a pencil break and read. I like that idea. Um, I think they have to I don't know what ickful is, but I'm I'm assuming I don't know what that is. Um, so I, I like aspects of some of them, but like this confuses me, so I'm not sure that I would want to use that page. But I liked the page before. Breaking rules. Well, this goes to edit. So this will tell you break off the it's the rules on when you break them and how you write them. Um, again, I'm still kind of unclear on how to teach it, so I'm not sure I like that page either. This one talks about your open and your closed syllables. Hmm, so in all, I'm not sure that there's too much of this that I like. It's a little bit too high for my kiddos. Um, this one might be doable. Yeah, not really helping me much either. So... This would be a bust for me. So, again, that would be why I would be glad to have opened it instead of saved it. So, I'm just Xing that one out. No, I didn't want to end up saving that. So, let's look at some other ones that I could get from here. Yeah, there's not too many to choose. So, I'm going to take a filter off. I'm going to possibly take this filter off and see what that will give me. Okay, not giving me too much more. This one I haven't looked at, so I can look at this one. A little preview. So this is kind of how it works when you are working in Smartboard Exchange. And it looks like this one is not doing very well to, oh, there we go. And explains a little bit better. So I kind of like this one. This would be one that I might would go a little further with and see if they can um, if it would want to be one, I would want to save. But I do like it based on this. So semi-active. Look, even by, from the free examples, it made sense to me. So if I wanted to download it, again, I would do the preview first. Just before I saved it and lost it. Because it might be that I see a few pages that I like and the other ones I don't. So I'm previewing it. So after opening this, again, I can kind of check and see what I like. Those explains those. And it tells you some things to remember for the help, the kids, that brings the attention to them. Um, this explains well. I like that. So I could go on. Here's the example word. What does meaning means to un would be not. And re means to do again. So 
recycle. So that would be cute for the kids. They would like that. Although I need to undo that if I'm going to save it. Look, I used a prefix. That was cute. Okay, so going back here. This is cute. Gives them something to see. Okay. So again, a lot of this is just checking out to see if it works. I saw this one already. Oh, I'm going to have to go through all those. Okay. Talk through. That's a great idea. The kids would enjoy coming to the smart board and being able to highlight. Okay, that would be a keeper. So since I've decided I would keep that, then I would go File, Save As. Because right now it's just open, remember? So I have to tell it where to put it, and that depends on how you have yours personally set up. I set mine up. I'm teaching here. I'm teaching second grade. And I consider this writing. Um, other people might be different. And I will call it Prefix and Suffix. And I like this one as an intro, so I'm going to call it intro so that I can come back and look to it. I hit save, and you are all done. There it is. I hope this was helpful.